捨てた世の中をきっと見返してやるぞ。Illusion of Blood released in 1965 and it was directed by Shiroi Toyoda. It's once again another adaptation of the famous Ghost of Yatsuya story. This time it stars the legendary actor Tatsuya Nakadai. So before I get into this, I just want to say that this was once again given to me by SamuraiDVD.com. If you're a fan of Samurai cinema, Then SamuraiDVD.com has the biggest selection out of anywhere. It's a bold statement, but it's true. Also, get yourself a nice discount simply by typing in Bushido Blues at checkout. So, this is a later adaptation of the Yatsuya Kaiden story from Toho. It's probably the last to treat the source material directly. This is actually the third time that I'm watching an adaptation of this story. And even though this stars Tatsuya Nakadai, which is like my favorite actor of all time, I still don't think that even he can save this movie. In my opinion, this is the weakest of the three adaptations I've seen so far. For one, I think it's too long. I also found some serious pacing issues, especially in the first half. And the transfer that I received just doesn't look that good. Looks very dated. Somehow the 1959 movie looks better than this. I don't understand that. Besides those flaws, though, I'd say that this reimagining of the classic tale does distinguish itself in several ways. For one, the score is done by the great Toru Takamitsu. And for anyone that's seen Woman in the Dunes or Ron, you'd know how great this guy is. He provides a very unsettling score that just sets the tone brilliantly in this film. And despite the subject matter, It still aligns with the film more closely with the avant garde tendencies of Japanese New Wave. The very nicely colored studio set in this is very stylishly shot, and it's by the cinematographer Hiroshi Mure. And I'm pretty sure that this film would look way better if it was given the proper restoration. This is just a bleaker and bloodier film than the other versions out there. It really just focuses on its cruelty. And it really comes into its own in the last act, where you get Oya's ghost driving Ayman insane. And this time it's to a more barbaric level, as his madness gradually consumes him. Tatsuya Nakadai plays a role also very well, like always. He's actually very reminiscent of his character in Sword of Doom. But the film's biggest failing lies just in its confusing narrative, especially in the first half hour or so. I really found myself struggling just to keep up with who is who and also just the relevance of their actions to the overall plot. The writing itself is definitely the weakest link, but its strong points is definitely its atmosphere. It goes really well, and it's actually not hard to see this as being a precursor to the J Horror revival, especially in its dark mood. There's some very chilling moments in this, but still, it's not as good as the 1959 version, so I'd say stick with that. So, while it's not as good as the other two versions I reviewed, it's still an interesting film, and it definitely does draw from a very deep well of tradition. But at the same time, it also reflects the changing face of Japanese cinema at the time. So, if you want this film, you can get it on SamuraiDVD.com. Use the discount code Bushido Blues. And if you've made it this far in the video, please subscribe. And if you want to support my channel, you can also check out my Patreon. Like always, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.